what happens to a dream deferred? Something to do with dehydration and fruit. So what happens to an April Fool's joke becoming a reality? With the Far Cry series, you get a cybernetic, fist-in-your-face, retro-raunchy, hyper-violent, cyber-clad, bootleg VHS to the 1980s R-rated action movie and marketing powerhouse of yore. You get Blood Dragon. Pastiche or parody, we felt the dragon's roar would best be assessed in a manner and method reflecting its own nature. We give you 10 ways Blood Dragon rules and rules. The hostage is under attack. Protect the cyber nerd. It's easy to rely on referential humor, catchphrases, and slapstick to get cheap laughs. Blood Dragon mines the past, smelting its precious ores into boldly stupid and entertaining artifacts. The dialogue is ribald and cornball, but it still manages to carry along the ridiculous story. The message is reinforced with random NPC babble and cybernetic hand gestures, and even the loading screens can evoke a smile. I don't care. Just as long as I get to shoot shit. Successful humor tends to be oxymoronically surprising or familiar, and here we get a good cut between the two, like a training montage set off at the perfect moment. Far Cry 3 is a great game, but you don't need to own it to experience this little slice of bloodlust. This expansion encapsulates the majority of Far Cry 3's tent poles. An open-world FPS, the multitude of weapons, vehicles with upgrades, stealth, flamethrowers, and wild animals. Actions like hunting and crafting have been scaled back or eradicated, yet the core remains intact. Even if you've never experienced the hard times of Jason Brody, you'll have no trouble stepping into the shoes of a cyborg veteran of Vietnam War II. For fuck's sake, shut up, HUD. I do what I want. Whether you've Far Cried before or not, items 1 and 2 combine for a great tutorial. The help messages are curt and droll, and will get you running with the basics within 60 seconds, fully equipped and ready to murder kill. A full arsenal and well-crafted opening scenario gets you ready for what's to come before stripping you bare and kicking your badass butt to the ground. Running is like walking, only faster. You can chomp through the main game in three or four hours and spend a bit more time turning the island into your personal graveyard. Stylish kills and mission completes net points which level you up in a linear path of unlocks, which works for a short game. Likewise, you'll gradually unlock new weapons and attachments that are worth messing around with even as you ascend to godlike levels. It's a satisfying and uncomplicated system It gives back what you put into it, mostly. So I collect shit to unlock shit, and then I get shit. Got it. Do you like Blade Runner? Do you wish the Vangelis soundtrack had been a little more rocking? Then Power Glove's sweet synth sounds are for you. The music rides electro, shotgun in hand, while the few vocal arrangements, though they play their lyrics for laughs, still have solid hooks. If this game bleeds camp, then the score is its screaming soul. Winners don't use drugs. From the scan lines that filter the lightning-streaked sky to the simple checkerboard pattern on the ladders and skylines, Blood Dragon has fulfilled an ancient neon prophecy with sleek results. Animations and animals add garnish to the garish graphics, spicing up reused and reskinned assets. This atypical palette distribution evokes a Skittles and Vomit vibe, but it's a great change from browns, gunmetal grays, and green canopies. The shield protects the soldiers inside from the dragons, but it won't stop the dragon's laser fusion blasts. They're what? Hello? The titular blood dragons are the heaviest of heavies, blind laser lizards with acute hearing and sensitive snouts. Wild cards that will rumble with anyone, you can lure them to your enemies with cyber hearts plucked from your fallen foes or engage them head on. They're an X factor that keeps the story missions, garrison liberations, and countryside strolls interesting. I'm a real heartbreaker. But they could have been better implemented. A force to be reckoned with, their tiny amygdala are no match for elevated pot shots. While close up assaults and tight corridors result in times when they can't seem to focus on killing you, despite how much sound your shotgun's making. Because the game makes these big guys such a big deal, the glitches and odd behavior are that much more noticeable. That's right, nothing to see here. While the critical path almost never stops rocking, the end game crescendo ends with more of an offstage whimper. There is unquestionably cool things happening and exploding as the game wraps up, but it feels hollow without being complemented by a well-designed challenge. Likewise, mopping up the island in the aftermath will probably be more on the side of trivial with your godlike cyber enhancements and hyper-powered techno weaponry. Blah, 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 kill, blah, blah, blah. 
We couldn't end on a sour note. Body and beautiful, Blood Dragon is that mocking love letter that lets you live out selfish, stupid, guilty pleasures. And this time, with production values. Frankly, anyone who thinks games are bad for you is a fucking idiot. See all of our shows and game reviews now on the brand new GT app on Xbox Live and the GT Originals iOS app too.